Today I wanted to show you the importance of adding a drum bus into your drum mix. I've got a basic drum mix done here. Now I'll slowly add my drum bus in. Pretty cool difference. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through what plugins I used on my drum bus. I've got all eight channels sent to one bus. And the first plugin is the J37 Tape Machine by Waves. I'll show you one at a time, actually. So this is with nothing on. Add in the J37. got a really cool feature where you can change the tape because apparently Abbey Road used three different types of tape so you change it here and you can see the sticker changing on the tape and it gives you a slightly different texture lots of presets I usually use a preset on this I've got kick drum warmth on this one but you've got a ton of other ones for all different instruments, guitars, vocals, whatever you need. So if you don't have a copy of that check it out, there's a link in the description. Next up, UAD LA2A, great compressor. You hear that crush that that gives it? Beautiful. And for even more dirt, I'm going to add the Decapitator by Sound Toys. I mean, you can crush your drums as much as you like with this thing. It's even got a punish button. Which is usually too much. Round two or three, pretty good. Full mix, bit of low cut. Don't forget I've got the drum bus full. I'd never have it up full. Usually have it around about here. Lastly, I don't always do this, but I've put a little bit of reverb on this time. Little plate, preset, basics, drums, vocals, extreme. We're using drums preset, two second drums. Again, you don't want too much. Usually I'd put my reverb on a separate bus, but for this video I thought, why not? And then I've got a, just a logic limiter on the stereo out, just set at 0 0.1. So this is the drums of everything bypass the mix and the drum bus. Everything back in. So as you can hear, quite a big difference. I hope that helped. Check out some links in the description for those plugins and I'll see you next time.